my brother, come up, come up. We, come up, bro. We, we teaching salvation according to the Bible. You know, God, Christ is on his way, right? You know that? Your granddaddy and pastor? Does he teach you what it takes to, to, to get the kingdom of heaven? What does it take? Your granddaddy or pastor? I'm going to make it according to God's will. What? What, what does it take, bro? What does it take? Are you going to make it? That's the question. We are here teaching what it takes. Right. Our people don't know what it takes. We're going to get it according to the Bible. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that do what? Do his commandments. The Bible says, blessed are they that do his commandments. All right, read on. That they may have right to the tree of life. Uh -huh. And may enter in through the gates into the city. So this is what it takes, black man. This is what it takes to, to not be subject to your oppressors. Right. This is what it takes to get the kingdom of heaven. You must be keeping God's commandments. Right. We as a community, we don't want to do that thing, man. We want to buy on the Sabbath. We want to live our life through pleasures. Right. right? We, we like waking up every morning and, and working for, for Esau, the so-called white man. We like doing that thing. Well, at least I got a job. That's our mindset today. But it, there's a lot of people that don't even got a job. I, I feel blessed. Right. And we, we go about our whole lives in slavery. Right. And at, at the end of slavery, if, if you die in your sins, if you die not keeping God's commandments, that's the end of your life. So what, what was the whole point of this? What's the point of dying or, or living a life of sin and slavery and oppression? Right under another people without your own form of government without your own form of discipline and then at the end of all of that you die what's the point brother brother uh in the red truck what's the point to do all of this and then die when christ returns right there's no point that's that's a that's a fool's way of living right we got to come out of that stuff read on or without our dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, uh -huh. and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Right, so whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. What is the lie? The lie is this, this image right here. Right, so-called white man as, as Jesus. Right, what, what does Christ look like according to the Bible? What does Christ look like according to the Bible? Not according to Christianity, right? Not according to the white man's doctrine right. and his image that he had the power to set up over our people in slavery. Not according to that, but according to God. Right. What does Christ look like? We got signs for you. You see the sign right here? Come on, come. You see the sign right here? Now, the, which, which one of these two uh, images right here which one of those is Christ? So you say this one right here, young man right here, he's, he points to this one. Which one is it? Is that one? You sure? Okay, yeah, you're, you're right. All praises to the Most High. But let's be real. Who who does the, the world follow and worship as Christ today? Right, what image? This one right here. But why is that? Let me ask you that, what's your name? Dreek. Dreek? What's your name? Young man, young man, what's your name? Drink, Mikey? My king. Okay. All right, so why does the world today uh, worship that image? I feel like. What, what happened to us as a people? I feel like they like, I, I know it's all our life. Yeah. They made us feel like, you know what I'm saying? Right. They, they, they made it seem like that's the image of God. Right. But, but how were they able to do that? What means did they have to tell the whole world, hey, this is the true image of God rather than the real one? They had power, right? They conquered the world. They conquered us as a people. Remember, slavery was a thing. You see this, these images right here? This right here? All of these things happened to us and God allowed that to happen to his chosen people, to y'all, you and your people, because we broke God's commandments. Right. And when we broke God's commandments, 
he allowed another people to, to become rulers of the of the world. Hold that, get, give me a Job 9.24. So the people that are ruling this earth today are not the ones that are supposed to be governing the world. The ones that are in oppression, according to the Bible, God says them people, they supposed to be the, the ones making laws and things like that. Telling the, the rest of the nations what to do and, and what laws to, to abide by, right? But those same people, we're at the bottom of society. We, we repping gang life. We the thugs of the day. We, we are hoes and prostitutes. We thoughts. You know, our sisters is thoughts and things like that. But according to the Bible, they are royalty. We are royalty. What? So what happened? Right? This is what happened. Read. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You hear that? The earth, meaning the rulership of it, is given to the hand of the wicked. The hand of the wicked... Uh, created that image right there who the whole world believes today as Christ right. so guess what when they see it in the movies when they see white Jesus in the movies they say they it's, it's a it's an automatic thing they, they say oh that's Christ right there they get all emotional in it they start crying oh look look what they did to Jesus they crucified him right they they did all manner of, of evil to Christ oh I'm, I'm crying and now when when our people pray to God Guess what image is set up in their minds? Right. This one right here. But that's a false image. Right. And that image is destroying us. But we, we don't even realize it. Right? So we got to come out of that. Now, uh, give me a, uh, go back to uh, Revelation. So what does Christ look like according to the Bible? Right? Not according to us, according to God's word. Right? The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs. We're white like wool. So y'all see that image down there, the far one? His head and his hairs, meaning the, the hairs on his head and his beard hairs, were what? Were white like wool. Were white in color and woolly in texture, right? What right. people have woolly type hair? Hair like sheep, right? So-called African-Americans, right? We are the, the Judites of the Bible. We are the real Jews. You heard that before? We are God's chosen people. That's who we really are. But remember, we were conquered and renamed and gave in that image right there. But we got to come back to our image. We got to come back to our scriptures. God made the whole world for us. Not for you to wake up every morning and go to school and learn their ways and go to work and, and, and uh, you know, uh, fight hard to pay your bills and things like that. That, that wasn't God's, uh, his idea for you and your people. Right. It was for the other people, for them to serve us. But God says he made us, uh, us a, a, a special and holy people. He ain't make us like them, right? So we got to start to unlearn what they taught us and relearn what God has been told us from the beginning. Right. Right? Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now it's going into his, his skin color. His feet like unto what? Like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? You said what, what color? Green? No. Brass is what color? Oh, no, no, not, not, not grass, it's brass, brass, B, B as in boy, brass. Okay, it's all, it's all good, we're going to get, brass is brown, right, right, the, the color of brass, like a penny or something like that, right, that's, that's, that's brown. Brad, it's, it's a type of metal, right, brass is a type of metal, all right, so, so brass, it, it comes, you know, it's, it's uh, it comes in a variety of browns, but oftentimes it's, it's the darker form of brown. It's closer to our skin tone, right? So it said his feet, meaning the skin of his feet in color is like brass, right? Like the color of brass. Brass is what color? Brown. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. So you take that already brown color and you burn it in a furnace. What color is it going to come out? Even more brown, right? Dark brown, black, damn near, right? So this is, this is describing Christ's skin tone. 
So what, why are people over here worshiping this image right here? It's because we don't know. We got to start to learn this Bible and then teach, right? Because what's going on in the world today is not going to last forever, my brothers. It's not going to last. For, it seems like it is. How old are you? 19. You lived 19 years in America, right? Right. So on your mind, because 19 years, that's a consistent um, uh, range in, in, in living as far as life, right? That's, that's consistent, right? So in uh, a 19 year old's mind, right? They're going to make it to 20. They're going to make it to 21. They're going to make it to 22, to 30, to 40, right? So we, we don't think about what, what God is thinking of what's going on in, on this planet. Right. We don't we don't think about those things. We think about tomorrow, right? The, like the recent tomorrow. You know, we got school tomorrow. We got work. You know, we got girlfriends. But is, is girlfriends, is that good according to the Bible? Give me, first, first give me uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 13. We, we gonna get what's gonna happen to this place very soon. And I need y'all to take heed because there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna die when Christ returns. There's gonna be a lot of destruction on this place. But, but look how beautiful it is today. You wouldn't think it. It's a nice day, you know, the, the breeze is going. People are, they doing business, you know, they out here doing car washes. Something like, that's what the, the Christian church calls it, right? That's not what the Bible calls it, but you know, the, those that are to be saved, those are gonna, it's gonna be a small remnant that gets taken up and everybody else is, is doomed to whatever destruction is coming to this place, right? But that's not what's on our minds. But this is the Bible we're reading. Watch this, read. Isaiah chapter nine, verse 13. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them. Excuse me, give me uh, 13 and nine. Isaiah chapter 13, verse nine. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. Y'all hear that? Behold, the, the day of the Lord is coming. It's coming soon. You know what the day of the Lord is? That's, that's, that's Christ's return. The day of the Lord is Christ's return. And it says, what about Christ's return? Read. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. It says cruel. Is cruel a, a good or, or a bad thing? Is, is it a positive or a negative thing? It's negative. It says both with wrath and what? And fierce anger. And fierce anger. So when Christ returns, he's not going to come. Uh, what's, what's that image they be doing? Like, uh, you know, coming down from the sky. He ain't coming back like that. He coming back with fierce anger. But why? Why is he coming back with fierce anger? Why does the Bible describe it like that? Because that's not in everybody's mind. Right? That's not what's in the movies. He's coming back with fierce anger because God's chosen people, right? They're still getting killed to this day. They are still in oppression. God hates that thing. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. 